Mark Radner is one of the best people I've met in combat sports in more than 30 years. I would describe Mark Ratner as someone who loves sports. It's been his life. Mark, growing up here in Las Vegas, he was able to be very close to the fight game at a very young age. Mark Ratner was a legend in the boxing world and just officiating regulation in general. He was the executive director of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, which was a huge, huge role. Mark Ratner was the most respected commissioner in the world. He loved boxing, football, but he also loved MMA. People who follow mixed martial arts know the battle that has taken place to regulate this sport. There was just not enough awareness about what the sport was all about. People thought that it was barbaric. I can remember a meeting that we had with Mark, and I think Mark sensed that this was bigger than just some niche sport. Six months later, we were approved in Nevada. It's a victory in Vegas. We got the Athletic Commission on board. I think it's going to be a, a, a big time sport, and I'm glad the Athletic Commission here is part of it. He understood what we were trying to do, and then from there, a lot of states started to come on board. When Mark Ratner joined the UFC in 2006, it said a lot. He decided to put his name and his brand and his reputation next to a sport that had spent its lifetime fighting for legitimacy. Mark just brought such expertise to the table when it came to getting all of the different states to sanction mixed martial arts. Most people probably have no idea how much time and how much effort he spent in getting the sport legalized across the nation. Under the bright lights of Hollywood, the Octagon has traveled to the fighting city of Philadelphia. He always had that map. Every time a state would pass rules and regulations, you know, he would color it in. You know, he had the entire United States basically colored in. He had that one little speck. People go, what is that? And say, that's New York. Yes, it's being done elsewhere in other venues. But that doesn't mean we have to do it in New York. New York was the most significant and long-standing battle that we had. I remember sitting with Mark and watching the final hearing. Eyes 113, nose 25. The bill has passed. This is historic for anybody who's been involved in the UFC and mixed martial arts. This event is monumental for all of us. Not only did he get a sanction in every state, but other countries too. So another nation opens its arms to the greatest live event in the world. We have commissions across the world that have basically been set up on his instructions and still to this day look to him for advice on how to run things and how to operate. He is the man who literally got this regulated everywhere. Mark's passion for combat sports as a whole is unparalleled. And you can tell that he has such a respect for the athletes and respect for the process. Everything that he does is invested in sports. And when he finally does come back to Vegas and he has a second to himself, he goes out and works high school basketball games. He's been with us now for 15 years, still super passionate about the sport, making sure that the sport is safe, making sure that the sport is fair. He's done more for UFC, in my opinion, than anyone else. I don't think we'd be in 50 states if it wasn't for Mark Ratner. We appreciate his service to the sport and us. Anybody who is anybody in the sport knows Mark Ratner and respects Mark Ratner. He's played such an incredible role in the evolution and success of the UFC. He is a huge asset to this company, and now he's in the UFC Hall of Fame. Mark Ratner made mixed martial arts and the UFC part of the permanent sports landscape, and that's an incredible legacy that will live on forever.